The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Here comes the Tribal Chief. A decade of dominance, even more powerful than ever. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 200. At We've seen it over and over again for years. Roman Reigns is all about asserting his dominance. Absolutely, Cole. Reigns hits every single move with authority. Every strike, every throw, every hold. They're all a declarative statement from the Tribal Chief. That's right. The ring in the locker room. Reigns isn't asking permission to be the top dog in this industry. He's taking it. And across the ring from him is Cody Rhodes. A very different Cody Rhodes than you might recall here in WWE. Cody has really grown up before our eyes and experienced every high and low this business has to offer. Those tests have hardened him and perfected him as a competitor. What you see now isn't so much a grown man as it is a final four. Driven down head first. People have criticized Roman Reigns for relying too much on his cronies to maintain his standing in WWE. Corey, do you consider that a possible sign of weakness from Reigns? Absolutely not, Cole, because Reigns doesn't need to rely on anyone but himself in the ring. He is where he is because he's the tribal chief. He's proven repeatedly that he has what it takes to get things done on his own. Executed. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Back into the ring. Whoa. Wards off that offense from Cody. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. Caught with a punch. <laughs> and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. To the stomach. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Reigns has to turn the tide quickly. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. Lining up Reigns. Opportunities like this rarely open up. But Reigns has to pull up and watch it. Busted Roman Reigns open. That is what it takes to top the range. Cody sparing some time for the adoring fans. Uh oh. Way too oh, far. Diving moonsault. Attacks from the arsenal of Cody Rhodes. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is clearly in control. Oh. Cody Rhodes with his opponent. Thunderbreaker. Oh. That is why I say Cody Rhodes has achieved his final form. The guy in the plastic mask could have never done that. And I like that guy. Roman managing to get some control back now. Maybe Reigns has found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. Setting up neckbreaker position. Oh, forearm 
to the back. Hammering down on the knee. I don't know if Cody can withstand much more of this. Reigns just emphasizing that he can get this done all by himself. Proving just why no one else can lay the claim to being the tribal chief. He breaks the pin before a one count. What a kick out. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. That's crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Rhodes showing his opponent how confident he is. Dropping the elbow. He can't take any more of this. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Cody has him up. Delivering the photo breaker. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Oof, bang. Left by the turnbuckles. He takes control. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, that just looked nasty. Tree the torso to yet another attack. Rose looking to end this. Oh, he got finally closes the book. by this guy tonight. Call animal control. Someone just claimed Roman Reigns' yard here tonight.